Hey guys, what's going on? Constantine lovers out there, Mr. Dark Phoenix is back with Batman and Spider-Man bringing you guys the latest episode of Constantine. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, hit that subscribe button. I post content every week and I would love to have you guys a part of the nerdy, geeky family that we have here on YouTube. Before we get into the episode, this is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen the new episode, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right on into the new episode of Constantine. Angels and Ministers of Grace. It's a very long title for this episode. Zed finds a calm room. I always kind of wondered what was in those rooms. I was hoping it would have been like infinite crossover capabilities. Like you got one room that's like the Arrowverse and the Flashverse, but I'm guessing if they're in the same world, it's a different state, then that's fine too. Why not? You know, they we, hell they get, they might have a danger room maybe somewhere in there. Flipped the angel's wings and now he's grounded. I actually loved the theme of this episode about why he like seeing the episode I understand why he did it but that but now seeing it I'm like well now it makes a little bit of sense now you're like Castiel from Supernatural you're like you understand humanity more and now you want to work hard to protect it and the people that protect it basically maybe we'll see Manny more often going to fight some stuff hell Constantine might trick him and make him wear the Doctor Fate helmet which would actually be kind of broken, an angel with endless power and the Dr. Fate helmet of endless power. I'm already scared of this combination, let's move on. And the angel got sexed up, I forgot to mention that, yeah. Angel's first experiences, they're something new, and I bet he loved it, now he wants to save humanity from more of that stuff even more. So, you know what? That sword he had, when he was pulling out stuff, he had that, that, that sword, I don't know if anybody saw it. I, if I could pick an Easter egg, I might want to say it's the Sword of Sin or the Sword of Salvation. Those are the swords that, um, Asriel dual wields. One helps, one makes you, one makes you feel guilt and the other one makes you feel something else. So, by Constantine standards, I'm guessing he has the Sword of Sin. That's just my educated Easter egg guess. I don't know. I could be wrong, but if I had to pick out what that sword is, I'm going to say it's the Sword of Sin, because it's Constantine. And Zed has a tumor, and she sees angels, which is actually better, so... But as like Constantine said, magic has a consequence, and I'm not sure if any of the other fortune tellers have tumors, but, I mean, to each his own, I guess. I mean... They can use that to their advantage a little bit. If her dad ever comes back to kidnap her and wants to kill her, it's like, hey, you can't kill me because I have a tumor. So you have to get rid of the tumor if you want to do this, whatever, and use me for your ritual. So all in all, this episode was actually, I loved it. This episode was really good. I like how Manny's, Manny was grounded and understands humanity more and is now willing to understand more of what Constantine's doing. You know, and I like that a lot. I mean, it's like, we need, we need all the help we can get. Apparently, if you know, nobody else is coming so far, you know, we need all the help we can get. And what better help than from an angel, you know? And new artifacts and all that. Just This show has endless possibilities. That's why we have to be on Twitter and saving Constantine. Like, because I would hate to have a great show like this end and other shows that don't deserve to be on the air are still on the air. So, if you guys want to go on Twitter, hashtag save Constantine, you know, give a reason why because you love it, or comment down here why we should save Constantine, and a common question of the day goes as follows, what would you like to see from Constantine? Next week is the season finale, bringing back Papa Midnight, I'm excited and scared because they, I mean they said season finale? But I hope it just stays a season finale, not a series finale because, they, because first of all they name dropped Dr. Fate in season 2. So, don't name drop that and expect me not to get mad if they cancel it. So, let's all save costumes, let's all name some reasons. I mean, I already named my reasons. I have the Claire on the Witch Boy, Satana, Raven, Trigon, Swamp Thing, Lady Constantine, all that stuff. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. And always remember that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys on Monday for some Gotham.